Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an Amazon Smiley package got through the letterbox today and I thought you might like to have a look at it with me and see what we've got. Okay, I've been treating myself. Um, I did just put on two of the items though, so I did spend some money to save some money. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what we've got. When I turn these this way up, it frowns at me. Look, it's saying, have you been spending again? <laughs> Okay, so we have three little packets and in these three little packets we have two diamond paintings that I used my Vipon coupons on so we'll have a look at those in a bit. Uh, mm, look a bit small but we'll see how we go with those but this is what I've treated myself to and I saw it and I just thought I've got to have that and look at this, it's a pen. It's an acrylic pen from Amazon and it's got goldfish in it. Isn't that clever? Let's get it out of the packet and have a look and see what we got. And this is a resin diamond painting pen, ergonomic diamond painting pen with diamond something something something. And it's from the Record Recordamy EU store. So I'm trying to open it the wrong way. Look, I'm, I'm playing for time while I'm trying to work out how to open this packet. And this one cost me £8.69. And I just thought, wow, that's a really good value for a resin pen. But it's got all, say, little goldfish in it. Look, like seaweedy. I mean, you wouldn't really have goldfish in a, a sea, would you? But the shells in it as well. But I just thought, oh, how pretty is that? little fish and all you look at the little conch shell at the end there it's just gorgeous and i love it and i just thought oh yeah i've got to have that uh i'm not a huge user of the acrylic pens and um, it's something as i'm trying multi-placing i am trying to get into but uh, i just had to have it i just thought i love that i've got quite a few uh, sea themed turtles and fish and things paintings to do and it's quite nice to have a pen that matches the painting that you're doing so i thought i'm gonna have that but yeah beautiful love it absolutely love it uh how long is the barrel let's have a look we are oh just under five inches which is about 12 and a half ish centimeters that's just for the acrylic part without the um ends on as well We've got a four placer there, which is one of the thin white four placers. And you've got your single placer as well, which these will come out. Oh, that one's quite stiff. I'll have to get my pliers to get that one out. These come out a little bit easier, I think. Yeah, that comes out easier. But yeah, I just thought I'm for £8.69 as well. That's really good value. So I don't know. Well, I don't know how they do these because I've seen it done, but I wouldn't know how to do it myself. <laughs> and when I say I've seen it done, I've seen it done on YouTube. I've seen people playing about with them and doing them and they're just marvellous. There's some very, very clever people out there. OK, so oh, look at that. We've got a really long straightener that we can use. I reckon that's about a 15 at least. Because is that a... That's a 10. So if that's a 10 place, so that's a multi place. So again, they're the small ones. So I should think that's about a 15, well, not a placer, but a 15 straightener. So you could straighten up 15 drills at once, which are always very handy. And then that one looks like, is it a six? Uh, what does that say? No, it's a seven. <laughs> so we've got a four. That I've just taken off the pen. Sorry, it's getting a little bit dark in here. Um, I'm filming late on an evening because it's just far too hot uh, at the moment during the day here. Too humid to be filming. Um, so we've got a four, a seven and a ten placer. And then let's say it's about a 15 placer straightener. I'm going to put those on that little bag so I can see where they go. And I'm just going to put the straightener in there because I do use the straighteners. I do try to keep my drills straight. But yeah, I just thought, oh, for the money, and I'm going to treat myself. It's a long time since I've bought myself a new pen. Uh, well, an acrylic pen anyway. So yeah, and then two big plates of red wax as well. 
So I think good value for money that one. I like that one. Get my little fishes. Okay, pop that to one side. So let's have a look at these diamond paintings. Um, these have come from the, oh my goodness me, it's the Tanka Guan Z1 Luo Kuji Dian store. Um, I will put a link down below. Uh, I think, wow, imagine having to put that on your school register as your name. <laughs> is uh, just about every letter of the alphabet i think you was doing that store name but yeah um they were supposed to be 5.99 and 6.99 these diamond paintings and i got them for seven pound and 88 pence for the two so just under four pound each these cost and the pour glue and yes the 30 by 40 oh something stuck to me as it's very humid at the moment not particularly nice weather, not good sleeping weather at all. Uh, oh, we've got a squished squishy. <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> it's been run over. <laughs> Our squishy's gone a little bit flat. <laughs> yeah, these are your little pen grips to go on your pens. Quite a few grip seal bags in there. Uh, but pen and wax uh, oh dear put a little grip <laughs> it's deflated in the heat <laughs> and our gems there okay and this one is just a motivational sign and i thought i could do with some motivation so we have all these little signs looks like we've got a mountain scene in the background here as well uh, there's 24 colors we have got dmc codes and it looks like we are lola are all capital letters on the kit code down the side so they're looking pretty clear pretty good that drill field is looking pretty clear even the very dark at the bottom you can see the letters there Okay, and we are saying, pursue your passion, be fearless, believe in yourself, dare to dream, test your, I think that says limits, yeah, that's limits, uh, be kind and stay humble, definitely, find your purpose, cherish today and never give up. Now, we've got a lot of different types of writing, um, a lot of different types of fonts on this so it'll be interesting to see which ones show up really well and which ones um, aren't going to show up that is a little bit iffy uh, believe in yourself that's yeah the whole thing there that's okay this is definitely i mean that stands out really well Um, this is a little bit iffy and that test your limits i keep having to read it again yeah that limits needs to be darker i believe but obviously i'll see what it looks like when we come to do it and see what the yeah drill color is on that may need to change it but i just thought yeah this is to go in my craft room just as a little bit of inspiration so there's days where you feel like everything's going wrong and uh, you're just having one of those days you can come and find yourself a little message on your wall if the walls start talking to you though it may be time to tell somebody <laughs> only kidding <laughs> i'll be i've had some good conversations with walls to be fair and um, they don't answer back <laughs> A nice set of drills. Okay, they're in the little blue and silver packets. I don't know where number one is, so we'll start at this one, which is number five, for whatever reason. Okay, so what's the nice sea and earthy colours, this one? So we've got an aqua, a green, sea greeny colour, and like a grey greeny colour, and a sage colour, a little bit of grey, pale blue and a mid blue and a brown and a fawn and a very dark brown and that's a very dark blue and a lovely sparkly green and a stone colour 
and a little bit of brown with a little bit of peach and another little bit of brown and a couple of greens there like a pale sagey green and then that is so gorgeous so vibrant what color would you call that some sort of an aqua I suppose an emerald no emeralds more hmm i'll think about that one and then another couple of thorny colors and then your white is that a b5 200 it is and then here's one to four so we have a dark like a denim blue and an orangey peachy colour and a slaty grey colour and another blue. So it's a nice colour palette this one. It's quite a bright but muted if you know what I mean. The, the greens and the blues are really going to stand out against the sort of white of the background and then the browns will just make everything pop that little bit and I don't think there's any three tens. No there isn't. So there's no black in this whatsoever. Wow that's really good. Okay, let's pop these away. I've not folded those up very well at all. But I'm going to have to open my craft room door in a moment before it gets too warm. Okay, so that's canvas number one. I have a little pooped out pup on my feet at the moment, bless her. She's so hot, she doesn't know where to put herself. That's the trouble. She, with her being a Scotty dog, she's black, so she's got a little black fur coat on all the time. Um, she did get clipped fairly recently, so she is quite short still, but she still gets very, very warm. We've bought one of those cool mats, you know, that you sit on and they go cool, and she's using that a lot as well. But uh, I should have brought it up to my craft room, actually. I could have put my feet on it as well. <laughs> Terrible when you have to fight the dog for the cool mat. <laughs> okay, so item number two or canvas number two. Uh, so, looks like we've got the same drill package in there. And we've got a squishy that's not been squished in this one. So yeah, they give you a good amount of, oh, there's about 10 little rip seal bags in there. So not bad. Okay, quite consistent with their kits there. And this one is a gnome. It's a gnome. And I just thought he looked really happy. And this is one of my phrases that I use a lot. And it's be kind. If you can't say anything kind or nice, don't say nothing at all. I just think we all need to be a little bit kinder to one another. Sorry, I'm just having one of those days. <laughs> But it's got all the red of the ladybirds. We've got like a wooden background and just his building blocks. This does look quite clear, but again, we'll see how it comes out with writing. I seem to find writing very hit and miss, or miss. It either comes out really, really well, or you have to spend a bit of time tweaking it, just taking some drills out and putting some other colours in. I think it tends to be, if it's just one colour that they use, that's fine. But if they try to put more than one colour in words and start shading um, and putting like 3D shadows and things, you can tend to lose the definition of the letters a little bit. So this one looks really good. And it's only a little gnome. But I just thought, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Yeah. It's a, a good little saying, that one again. I must have been in a very reflective mood when I ordered these two because I just wanted everybody to be kind and I just needed some motivational speaking. <laughs> okay, this one has your key code at both sides again, 24 colours. DMC codes on the key code. And it's all capital letters again. Nice and clear there. And your drill field. Albeit, I think it looks a little bit smudgy because of the shading on the like planks, the wood at the background of it. But it is actually, when you look at the letters, that is very clear. You can see that those really, really well, you know, and even on the writing. So look at that little nose. Look at his little nose and all his daisies. Daisies and ladybirds. Oh. That's really cute. Oh, we didn't measure, did we? Uh, it says 40 by 30, but I think we're going to be about 25 by 35. 
uh, in at factual fact this one is 34 centimeters that way by 24 centimeters that way which is nine and a half inches and i think this one will be about the same let's just give it a quick measure yeah that one's 24 by 34 which is roughly 13 and a quarter -ish inches they're only rough estimates um, for your measurements it's just to give you an idea but on the website now and i have noticed most of the uh, diamond painting websites now if you scroll through the different photographs do show you a picture of the actual um, canvas size the drill size and uh, then the actual size of with the outer edge as well and give you both measurements so you know what you're getting so that's really good you know they've worked they've realized that people think they're going to get a full 30 by 40 painting um to be fair it's never really made much difference to me some of them go on my wall some of them just go in my portfolio as long as it's a good canvas nice drills and i enjoy doing it that's what matters to me rather than losing a couple of centimeters off an edge because of an edging i suppose if you're buying the frames to fit them exact it's going to make a difference but <coughs> excuse me not for me okay let's have a look at these drills sure oh wow okay yeah these are really big bags look really long bags so we've got a lovely deep burgundy red there brown another burgundy red a mid gray a nice army green cherry red a grass that should be that color <laughs> because it's still dry a couple more grays uh, a caramel chocolate color and a dark grey, a sage green, and a stony beige colour, and then that will probably be the background. We have three bags of it's 762, and there is the MC codes on the bags as well, which is excellent. Another a whiny brown colour, another beige colour, peppermint cream green, and a dark green there. And then we have, I think we have. 310 no we don't have 310 in this one either sort of a very pale lilac -y color uh, pink and that's like a reddy brown color an orangey reddy color another brown and that one is 939 so that's your very dark blue so quite again a nice color palette on this one we do like our different colors it's quite muted looking but well, I suppose they're not that bright are they but we've got some pops of colour in this one so it'll be interesting to see how it comes out it says hurriedly getting these drills in this bag the people that pack these drills and then must watch us and think it took me ages to get those in that pack and look how you've just thrown them in there <laughs> many apologies Okay, so we've had a lovely a Be Kind Gnome. I've definitely been on a message theme with these, haven't I? I've got my um, inspirational quotes there. And then I've got my goldfish pen, which I love. Look at that goldfish pen. Yay! So when I get on to doing my uh, fish paintings, and I am starting my turtle, I will be kitting up my turtle, um, because I don't want to get that up in my bathroom now. Uh, he does need to go in there the black bathroom wall is looking really bare so it needs some decoration so i will be uh, doing that one okay well just a little mini haul this time i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you've got any comments or questions if you leave them in the comments down below and then if you want to come back and see what i get up to next and watch me kit up that turtle it's beautiful it's a massive special drill of painting if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now